Why hello, you're watching me have a look at the Star Trek official Starship collection by Eagle Moss. Today we're looking at number 75, which is the Enterprise E Captain Yacht, as seen in Insur yeah, Insurrection, the film. It's actually the first time I've seen a Captain's Yacht being used for Captain E things. Uh, so, what is the Captain's Yacht? The Captain's Yacht is basically a shuttle for the Captain. That's all you need to know. So, we've got, you've got some phaser banks, you've got some torpedoes, and it's warp powered, yeah. Nice brief description there. We know it's warp power because it's got some warp missiles. Um, I guess it's just going to go into some brief details. Oh, it's used for diplomatic missions. It's stuck to the underside of the saucer section. Some more pretty pictures. More pretty pictures. Didn't the cells actually come out of it? I can't remember. So look. See, it's got it there. Oh, that's just the hatch. It's not actually showing it stuck on the Enterprise. Here I look. According to the Star Trek Next Generation Technical Manual, the Enterprise D also had a captain's yacht. We never saw that. But you always saw the captain occasionally cruising around in a shuttle. I remember that one where he was with uh, Crusher. Not the Doctor, you know, um, Shut Up Wesley one. <laughs> Shut up Wesley. Uh, what else we got? All design in the captain's yacht. Here we go. There's some pretty pictures. Oh, look, the nacelles are actually on the underside, so it drops down and they're already there. Oh look, here are nacelles in final position, so they do actually fold. The nacelles fold down. Camera, focus! Look, look. the cells in full position, so they do actually bend. Hmm. That's quite cool. Turn over, there we go. Some more pretty pictures. So you've got the stout ship, you've got first ever comes to the hollow ship. Uh, and you've got the weird brick shaped hollow ship. Makes more sense to make it brick shaped. Uh, designing some concept art and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. I wasn't really a big fan of this one. Not the ship, the actual film. Got to say, Wrath of Khan and First Contact have got to be up there as my favourites. So we've got first scene in the insurrection. Oh my god, this camera is not focusing at all. Why do I spend money on things that don't work properly? Bits of trivia, blah 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 blah. Uh, oh look, they said they didn't use the captain's yacht because it was too costly to make. Uh, there's the Admiral Bloke. So what we've got coming up next, we have Neelix's ship. Oh my god, Neelix's ship. Neelix's ship, Neelix, Neelix. Oh, the old kitchen rat. Let's have a look at the old captain's yacht then. This is quite nice. Um, average weight, not overly heavy, not overly light. Feels nice and solid. The underside is really cold, so I'm guessing it's metal. The top side's plastic. So let's play. So let's do some nice close up, sorry. So we've got the obviously the Enterprise description, we've got the Federation symbol on the side. Stratwell can see some whiteness on the uh, windows hatches, but I'm not going to pick on that too much. Actually, it's the same on that side, so I think it might actually meant to be there. Got some patches up here as well. Got some paint missing at the top there, but it's nitpicking again. Any parade? Now, I like this for a change. You said they got the uh, impulse engines, they like the blue clear plastic. Why do you call it clear? It's not clear, it's blue. Same with the cells, you've got the blue clear. You've got the blue clear on the other side, so you can actually see through that. You can't see it very well in my hand. Obviously, you've got the red collectors at the front, you can see through them. Same on this side, so I like that. I like what they've done with the engines. Makes a change, usually they either paint them or leave them. But I like what they've done with them. What we've got on the other side then? Uh, oh, look, we've got the registration there. Same on that side, yeah, the registration's the same. That's not too bad. I think mean, that's really good, actually. I'll give them a good 8 out of 10, maybe even a 9 out of 10 for this one. It's actually one of the better ones. The cells, they look reasonably in position, in equal. Yeah, they look about right. Didn't notice here the joins. Get away, camera. No, you can't see it from here. The joins along the bottom here for the nacelles, you can't make them out, but the gap's quite large. So, might be able to 
because the camera's focusing on here instead of down here. You just see it's dark. You can see it's really dark there. That's the join for the nacelle. Come on. There, you can see it. It's the join just there. But other than that, hang on. Oh, that's no, not too bad. It doesn't help. The camera's not focusing properly, so I can't really show much off. Actually, if I hold it like that, this side looks a tad lower than that side, doesn't it? It will scrub the box. See if that helps. Yeah, look. If I hold that like that, you can see the right side is slightly higher than the left side. I know it's not the best example, but you can you can see there's a blatant gap there. Yeah, there's a blatant gap. If I lean it to that side. Yeah, there's a gap. The cell is slightly wonky to one side, but that's just nitpicking. That is literally proper hardcore nitpicking. But I quite like that. I quite like the caption shot. I like these little plasticky bits. I think it sets it off a little bit. But there you go. That is your captain's yacht from the Enterprise E. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Basie bye.